An effort at City Hall to legalize Uber and Lyft shifts into high gear. Today, Councilmember Chris Riley revealing a resolution to formally allow the ride-sharing companies to operate in Austin. Both Uber and Lyft launched in Austin earlier. The city formed a stakeholder group to hammer out a legal framework for their business models. Riley says his resolution simply acknowledges the reality on the roads. Services are out there operating without any basic assurances of safety. And so we've got to have some interim regulations to address what's, what's going on until the, that group finishes its work. Council is expected to vote on Riley's plan by the end of the month. But one segment of the population is feeling they may be left at the curb in the process. Going in depth now, KITV's Fred Cantu says the new kids on the block still don't have a plan for passengers with special needs. Fred. Yeah, and with Austin City Limits Festival just around the corner, there's a lot of folks that are hoping that Uber and Lyft will be able to legally operate on the streets of Austin to help yellow cabs out with the crowd. But there's a big sticking point, and that is how the upstarts would accommodate passengers with disabilities. Sometimes it's hard to find a taxi in Austin, and supporters of transportation network services like Uber and Lyft say they're just helping more people get from point A to point B. In Austin, uh, they need more ways to get there, and so we're another option on the transportation menu. But this option doesn't improve things for wheelchair users who already have problems just getting a cab. We've had a number of complaints for years that, that uh, you can wait for hours to get a taxi cab. It, it, it's a real problem, partly because of the independent contractor status that taxi cab drivers have. Uber and Lyft drivers use their personal cars, which usually aren't set up for wheelchairs. Council member Chris Riley is considering requiring they pool a portion of their income into a fund to serve passengers with special needs. So, for instance, a company like Uber and Lyft could then make use of that money to contract with drivers who would, make, who would utilize existing vehicles, wheelchair-capable vehicles, to serve those in wheelchairs. The wheelchair plan is still in the works, which irks taxi operators who were required to provide wheelchair service from day one. As a byproduct of starting their operation, they were required to invest in wheelchair-accessible vehicles to make sure that those needs were met. And speaking of contracting out in other parts of the country, Uber and Lyft have actually added other c competitors to their websites, folks who deal specifically with transporting people in wheelchairs. So it is a possibility that we might see some of the wheelchairs from Yellow Cab uh, Company actually on, on the uh, list. But uh, we're not likely to know what's going to happen until actually after council approves uh, Lyft and Uber to ride the roads here in Austin. Fred Cantu, KITV News.